Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is my second tutorial on the MATLAB How To series. In this video I'm going to show you how to plot a circle in MATLAB. So before we head over to MATLAB let's have a look at how to define the equation of a circle. So here we have a circle with the center at x equals 0 and y equals 0. And if you want to find a coordinate for a particular point on this circle, then we can simply draw a triangle with angle theta. And to find the x coordinate, we can find the length, which is defined by r cos theta. And the r in this case is the hypotenuse or the radius of the circle. Similarly, we can find the height or the y coordinate using r sine theta. Now, using this, we can define a parametric equation that will give us any x and y coordinate for any point on a circle. So here we have x and y added on, and these coordinate, these x and y values define the center point for the circle. So in this particular example, the x is 0 and y is 0, so we simply have r cos theta and r sine theta, which defines the x and the y coordinates. So let's say if we keep increasing the theta, then we can draw more triangles and uh, plug in the theta values into this equation and find all the coordinates for these points. And if we do it for from 0 all the way around to 360, then we can find all the points, many points around this particular circle and connect them together. So the more points you have, the more smoother the circle will be. Because what MATLAB is going to do is for each point, it's going to plot that point and then connect a line to the next point. So let's see how we can implement this in MATLAB. So here we have a new script file that I have uh, used to write some comments in. And I'll make the script file available on my website and you can find a link in the description below as well. So we'll start by defining the theta range. So we'll say theta equals, we'll start from zero, uh, in steps of 0.1 all the way up to 2 times pi. So we'll use radians. And the next thing we want to define is the center and the radius. So we'll say rad for radius. And we'll say 5 to start with. And for the x center, we'll say x cent equals 0. y cent equals 0 as well. We want the center points to be 0, 0. Now we can define the parametric equation. So we'll say x chord for x coordinate is x send tab to complete plus radius times cos theta. And for the y coordinate, y coordinate we'll say y send plus radius a radius times sine theta. Okay, so we now have the parametric equation. Now what we can do is simply plot the coordinates, plot the circles using the plot function. So we can say x chord tab to complete, y chord, and we will use a grid as well. So let's try and run this. And you can see we have a very nice smooth circle with the center at 0, 0. Now let's say I want to change the radius, then you can just simply change it here. And if you want to change the center point as well, then you can change that here as well. And let's see what happens if we increase the step size. So we'll go up in steps of 0 0.5 now. So let's see what that happens what that does. And you can see uh, the circle is no longer a circle, it's um, connected with lines. So what's happening is it's actually um, starting from 0 and then adding 0 0.5 all the way up to 2 pi, but it doesn't quite get to 2 pi. So that's why we have a missing line here. So when you're plotting a circle it's always important to just make sure that you have a very fine increment. So you can use 0.1 or 0.01. 0.1 is usually fine. And you can see now the center is at 2, 2 and the radius is 10. So I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial and if you like my videos then please do subscribe, like and share with your colleagues. 
Um, I would also love to have some feedback in my comments and if you have any requests uh, or suggestions for my next tutorial on my MATLAB how-to series then please post them in the comments below. You can also find the code on my website, I'll put a link in the description below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.